Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Anderson, and I've just published a book that I think that you might be interested in. The title of my book is Product Failure Lessons for Product Managers. In this book, I talk about examples of products that have failed, and I do this so that product managers can learn from these failures. It's a great book because you're going to learn about a lot of products that should have been successful, but for one reason or another, failed, and the lessons that, as product managers, we can learn from these. One of the case studies that we'll talk about is Dell, who bought a company with hopes of expanding their product line, but because of a series of mistakes on their part, we're never able to get a product out the door in time. Another example that we're going to talk about will be New Coke. If you don't know the story of New Coke, it's a story that every product manager needs to know. Back in the 1980s, Coke did some studies and discovered that people seem to like Pepsi better than they like Coke. So Coke went ahead and developed a brand new formula for their signature brand. They did all the right things. They tested with target markets, they checked with existing drinkers, they checked with people who didn't drink Coke, and everybody said, this is a great change. Then they went ahead and they rolled it out, and it failed dramatically. And from that failure, we as product managers can learn a great deal. In the book, we'll also talk about Pepsi, who bought a company called Gatorade, which made a drink that was targeted towards athletes. When Gatorade, when Pepsi wanted to expand the market for Gatorade, they decided to rebrand Gatorade. But they did a bad job of it and ended, up, and ended up leaving all their customers very, very confused. Finally, we'll wrap things up talking about Cisco. Cisco's a great company that's bought a lot of other companies. One of the companies that they bought was the flip camera company. And you can see I even own one of these flip cameras. It was a great portable camera. But because of some missteps on the part of Cisco, they completely dropped the ball. And the product ended up being a failure and got canceled. In this book, we're going to talk about a lot of really great companies and a lot of situations in which the product managers screwed up and the product turned out to be a failure. The reason we're going to talk about this is so that you can learn from it and that you don't make the same mistakes. Now, if you take a look in the comment section below, I put links to where you can get your hands on a copy of this book. It's must reading for product managers so that your product can be a success.